Welcome to session three. Uh, again, we are painting in on this new painting until the cell phone kicks off again. I may or may not get a fourth painting in today, but this time we are now working on, I'm calling this one middle school. And while I was waiting for the previous videos to process, I painted the um, armchair that my daughter is sitting in. I painted it green. Um, its original color is kind of a um, tomato soup orange, but that would really not go well with the um, background here. And so I chose to make it green because green coordinates with the red. I made it a phthalo green because I'm using phthalo blue in other paintings since I'm going to find a way to tie that into this one but um so having the phthalos would be kind of nice but it is a very vibrant color and I might have to tone it down and I'll probably do that with a layer of gray on top as it is this green is a very translucent color and so I am using thicker and thinner paint in order to create these lines in order to continue differentiating the different features of the chair. And so now here I have just the last cushion. Underneath. Now this brush is a much stiffer brush than I like to use. Stiff brushes have their purpose, but right now, today, I'm thinking that this stiff brush's purpose is to drive me bonkers. But that's okay. Things like this happen. Okay. Now I do have some, um, this is some burnt umber that I will be using for my daughter's hair. I used this brush when painting my son's hair just a moment ago. So let's block in her hair. I get a little bit more medium here. Now, her hair isn't as curly as her brother's. It's one of the interesting things that comes up in my side of the family tree anyway, is that there is some lovely, lovely texture to the hair that runs through my dad's side of the family. But all the lovely waves, all the lovely curls tend to show up on boys' heads. And the straighter hair goes more towards the ladies. And so we've got Bridget's hair coming down. Don't play with it, hon. There we go. Now we've got some of his hair going sweeping forward. Now because this is a translucent paint, I'm able to show more of the um, flow of the hair. It's easier. Here we've got some green mixing in. That's not particularly wonderful because we do not have green hair. Oh well, as they say, it can all come out in the edits. Um, over on this side, our hair coming down the other side. Let's 
get a little bit darker over top of these greens because I don't want green in the hair. And this is just contamination because I've got two wet paints next to each other and it's really easy to accidentally pick up pick up some more of one when you mean to do more of the other. hair is turning out lovely too bad that's not likely going to be the final oh well she's got some I'll worry about the wisps that pop out later there we go just a little bit more texture that's all just a little bit more I'm queen of the one more things so yeah just one more thing one more thing okay so I think that's all of her hair I'm gonna use this red brush to try and push back the green that's gotten onto the background. I don't really want it there because the alizarin red is a translucent color and that means it would be very difficult to hide its complement there. There we are. Now that's taken care of. Okay, um, now I'm giving her brother a blue shirt in his painting, so I don't think I want to give her, give Bridget a um, blue shirt in hers, but she is sitting next to a blue pillow. So let's get that blue pillow blocked in. bit more medium, a little bit more white. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm trying to maintain the seam by having these two bits of blue not quite touching. There's going to be a lot of folds and pleats to put in there too when I go in for greater detail. Let's use the green to push that back down. I have some darker blue over here. And that's because it's getting a bit a lot more shadow. And the lighter blue where the light's hitting it more. dark blue in, got more lines over here, because she's leaning, she's been leaning against this pillow. 
Okay. And a little bit more dark blue right over here. And that'll be good for that pillow. I'm gonna clean up the edge. There, not a fantastic pillow yet, but it's taking a little bit of shape. I'm gonna smooth it out just a touch more. And it looks like a blob. Okay, well, we can deal with blobs. We'll deal with blobs later. Okay, now what else does she have? Let's see, we've got, I see that I've got her skin tone doesn't go quite to the um, chair's edge like it should. Um, but she also has, okay, it looks like she's cuddled in with the um, draft dodger and another pillow on the other side. Now the draft dodger is more of a raw sienna. So we're gonna go in for the raw sienna. And I wanna use softer bristles, but I don't you know what, I can use the same brush that I used for the hair. Okay. And I'm just gonna color in the draft dodger. Okay. And I can hear my mother-in-law. I hope you can't. Um, James, can you please let Grammy know that her voice is carrying to where my recording session is happening so that everybody on the internet can hear what she's at, what she's talking about? Yeah. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, so we've got the draft dodger that she's leaning on here. It's looking kind of like a pillow. Um, you know, I'm wondering if that's a draft dodger coming through on the other side. Um, thank you, James. You're off. You you are a super helper. Okay. So, you know what, since you were such a great helper, what color pillow should I make this one over here? We've got a blue pillow and a brown pillow, and what color pillow should that be there? Wait, what color is this? Uh, we've got green oh. and blue and brown. Yeah. So what color is that one there? Hmm, maybe yellow. You think we ought to have a yellow pillow? Okay, we have black. Nah, I think I like yellow better. We'll go with that one. So I'm going to take this brush here that we used before. I'm going to use some of this um, cadmium yellow medium that I used before. And we're going to make this with a little bit more medium. Let's pick up a little bit more medium. We're going to turn this into a yellow pillow. That rhymes. Yes, it does. And then later, if we can figure out what in the world that really is, then we can maybe change it later. <laughs> but for now, it can be a yellow pillow. Just say, what in the world? What in the world is this yellow pillow doing? <laughs> yes? When you finish down there, can you remember to turn off the lights? Will do. Just as a reminder, I am recording right now. I don't know if you heard when you came in, but I did give the alert. So, um, 
the friends as I did say in one of the previous videos that I shot today um, just because I am painting does not mean that life stops and so we do get these incursions of the rest of the family household and that's okay because that is family life so people always die what where did that come from dude I know that um what every person in the world has to die at least sometime that is true but where dude I was talking about painting and you're coming up with mortality <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where'd that come from? Well, I just remember it from playing games. Ah. Uh, well, let's try and keep things a little bit more upbeat. Can we do that? Yeah. Yay. I like upbeat. Um, I'm going to go upstairs. Okay. Is that? Can you take the letter opener with you since you brought it down? The letter opener? That's what this is. This is a letter opener. Uh, I give it to you. No, I want you to take it upstairs. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. And just a little bit more yellow. Now it is getting in close enough to dinner time that I think that I'm not going to get a fourth video in today. I was kind of hoping to be able to do that, but I think that's just not going to happen. Okay, so I've got a lot of things going on here. Let's, let's, since I've got yellow on my brush, let's make this a Ticonderoga pencil because I like Ticonderogas. It's going to make it a yellow pencil. We are making tremendous progress today. Where did my red brush go? I have a red brush. Here it is. Now it's unfortunate that part of the time that I spent painting on this while I was waiting, I, I, I worked on this painting some while I was waiting for another video to process. So it's a shame that you missed out on most of the painting of the green chair. These things happen. There we go. I kind of chopped off Bridget's nose a bit, but we know that we need to give her a little bit more. Now, that shirt that she's wearing is a white shirt. So I don't think that I want that shirt to be a white shirt. Um see her backpack is a really pretty purple purple is a difficult color to mix do I have a purple in a tube does not appear so um, I I should have I, I should get some but I'm gonna mix it anyway I mean you know you'd think that you you would honestly think that red and blue should come up with a lovely purple fairly easily but for whatever reason <coughs> purple is a difficult color to get right now since I've said all this you know it's gonna turn out well this time and here we have Kind of dusky purple. It looks like the obsidian color. And is obsidian actually real? Obsidian is a kind of stone, yes. So I'm going to take this color purple. Oh, it's not a bright, vibrant purple, but it's made out of a lizard and crimson and phthalo blue. And I'm going to block in the backpack. But yeah, it's a very dusty color purple. And so, there we go. 
just trying to block it in in a way that I can maintain different features of the backpack, such as the poofy straps, the loopy handle, things like that. So there's the straps. You know, if memory serves, I think that there is a phthalo purple that might go very nicely with this. I'm gonna have to go take a look. Um, I would prefer to go out to my local craft store, but with the pandemic on and all that, that's one of the things that I'm not doing in person anymore. So I'm gonna have to hop on the internet and look at paint tubes that can be delivered my way. Let's get a little bit more, I need more white. That's uh, tort gray, I don't want tort gray, I want white. Get a little bit more white here. This is titanium white. creating more of a lavender kind and I will use that for over here now she's got a very spacey kind of backpack and I think that maybe trying to replicate that pattern in addition to being very intimidating, um, it might draw too much attention to the backpack and not enough attention to the subject of the painting, which is Bridget doing her homework, doing, uh, doing the um, work, uh, the schoolwork at home, the distance learning. So, Another school, online school thing. Yep. Yeah, well, that, that's what the theme is for this set of paintings. Hmm. Got a little bit of, a little bit more here to get inside this loop. And that does look a little bit too dark. It's not what I meant. It's not what I meant to do at all. Mix it down. Mix it up. Mix it a little bit more over here. And... So young man, are you spoiling your dinner, huh? Eating chips. My goodness, my. Your what? My time warts. I strongly suspect that I am getting this all goofied up. But that's okay, because this is still the early phases of the painting and goofing up the early phases is not a big deal. Get a little bit more 
of this color in here. And Okay, and you, yes, we see a little curve of the backpack color coming out over this way. Got some of the strap color over here, so I need to go a little bit extra light to compensate for that little extra too dark over there. It can mix on the canvas. Okay, we've got a little bit of a pocket over here. And a little pocket on the backpack. We're going to have the rest of the backpack body. Okay. I am. I will give the all clear when I'm done. Okay. I think I'm going to stop after I do this backpack. So yeah, normally I wait until the um, recording just pops off on me. But uh, I think that there's enough of the